Now Nintendo has teamed up with 7-Eleven in Japan to sell a variety of snacks and sweets that feature popular Super Mario Bros. characters and items to help celebrate the series' 35th anniversary. Now, while these kind of things usually look great in promotional photos, sometimes they look quite a bit different than what was originally cooked up. No pun intended. But what about these? Well, I actually managed to buy and try out everything on the menu, and I'm here to tell you all about it. Danny from the Famicast here. If you're new to the channel, please be sure to subscribe and turn on those notifications. Today, we're taking a look at the lineup of Super Mario Brothers themed snacks and sweets that hit Japanese 7-Elevens all across Japan. Now, before I go any further, I just wanted to say that I'm by no means a food critic or foodie or anything like that by any stretch of the imagination. Still, the purpose of this video is mainly to show you what's being offered here and to give you some general thoughts on the items at hand. Now, I want to note here also that these snacks and sweets are on sale from Friday, February 5th until March 1st, 2021. But anyways, let's just go ahead and get right into it. The Mario Mix Roll. Now this sandwich is stuffed with a ketchup or tomato based spaghetti, a croquette, like a deep fried breaded mashed potato type of thing, and a dab of egg salad here. Now the actual item looks almost identical to the promotional image. And you know, honestly, I thought that this, this mix of like this tomato based pasta with this croquette and this egg salad were a great mix just all together. The sandwich is sold at room temperature too, so there's really no need to heat it up. I ate it as is and you know, I, I enjoyed it overall, but I think it might taste a little bit better if you warm it up. The Yoshi Green Melon Pond. Now, for those of you unfamiliar, melon pon, or maybe melon buns, they're like a sweet kind of bun that has like a hint of melon taste, and they're pretty commonplace throughout convenience stores and bread shops around Japan. Now, with this Yoshi version, the outside of the bread is sweet with that same hint of melon, except this one has some melon cream custard and whipped cream inside. It may not look as perfect as the original like promotional image or anything, but man, it actually it really hit the spot, and it's, it's really good. Uh, if you like yourself some sweets, can't really go wrong here. The Koopa Gekikara Karage Roll. Now Bowser, or Koopa as he's known here in Japan still, Bowser's been up to his old tricks. This time he's trying to trick people like me into buying spicy food that my body really doesn't need. <laughs> now anyways, this is a pretty simple item. Basically, it's like a spicy chicken sandwich with a variety of spices and like this chili sauce. And like Karage too, this is a special kind of like Japanese chicken. It's basically fried chicken. But anyways, it, this is kind of like seasoned with like this spice, these spices and stuff. And you know, in my experience, sometimes things labeled spicy in Japan are far from what I would have experienced as something being spicy like in my hometown in the States. You know, of course there are always exceptions to this, but at any rate, I was actually kind of surprised that this sandwich itself actually had a bit of a bite to it. Now, this is also one of the hot snacks. So this is like something that whenever you buy it here, you can choose to have it heated up at the shop. They like uh, nuke it in the microwave for you or whatever. Um, or you can just do it at home too. Now, I will say it's not much of a looker compared to like the actual like promotional uh, photo or anything like that. And it is a little bit greasy, but you know, after throwing a little bit of mayo on it, I was actually really enjoying this one. The Princess Peach Strawberry Mousse and Jelly. Now this decadently sweet dish has a layer of strawberry jelly, or jello for my American friends out there, at the bottom of the cup with another layer of strawberry mousse on the middle layer. Now at the very, very top, there's some dabs of like this lemon whip, some more strawberry jelly, and this blue milk jelly to top things off. Now this thing is super sweet and I'd recommend it to those of you out there that really have a sweet tooth. Now the jelly at the bottom and the mousse in the middle provide like a pretty good balance, I thought, even though they both have a strawberry base. And you know, visually speaking and stuff too this actually looks pretty similar to what they came up with with the promotional images the kira kira or glittering star pineapple sauce and agar now i'll be honest i'm not a cultured man so i didn't know what the hell agar was before i ate this now if you're stupid like me what's on offer here is this a simple sweet that has like a layer of this pineapple sauce, kind of like an applesauce, with a sweet milk-like jelly at the bottom. It was a bit too tart for my taste overall, but that bottom layer kind of helped even things out. Now, as for the star's face, well, that was simply just like a layer of plastic that you'll need to take off before you dig into this thing. Or not, eat the plastic, I don't care. The Fire Flower Flamin' Curry Mon. Now, for those of you unfamiliar, Japan sells a variety of these steamed buns at convenience stores. Some of them are filled with pork, pizza toppings, sweets, and other things like that too. Now, here we have a simple steamed bun filled with some curry. 
Now, unlike all of the other items which can be found on the store shelves, you'll actually have to check the front counter to see if any of these are available. And it's actually pretty easy to spot because there's a fire flower that's printed right onto the bun itself. Now, overall, I'm just a pretty big fan of pretty much anything that is like a pizza mon, curry mon, any of, the, any of this type of stuff. So uh, I was pretty happy with this one. Uh, and it's not super spicy or anything here either. So I think even kids could even enjoy this one. Now, one lesson I think you should take away from this video is this, you know, for the most part, convenience store food around Japan is generally pretty good and even looks like what's being promoted in the first place. Now, the same can be said about these Super Mario Brothers items. While I know it might not be possible for you guys out there to try this stuff, and I think that really sucks, I hope you guys enjoyed this look at the Super Mario Brothers snacks and sweets at 7-Eleven. But that turns things over to you. Which of these would you like to try out? Be sure to sign off in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Also, full disclosure, we are not being sponsored by 7-Eleven for this video. Maybe we should be. Maybe I should get somebody on the horn. <laughs> Anyways, uh, as always, thanks for checking out this video. If you like what you see, please feel free to drop us a like. If you're new to the channel, please be sure to subscribe. We've got tons of podcasts, video reviews, special Japan-focused videos like this. Also, be sure to check out our 7-Eleven bottle marker video. Uh, that's pretty cool. And uh, we also have a whole lot more stuff as well. Again, this is Danny from the Femicast. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you later.